Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 40 of Let's Play European Universals 4. Dahama as Baharat. In the last part, we um, took out Malwa and uh, really just trying to fix the country again. We spend most of our time fixing the country at this point, ladies and gentlemen, but we're getting there. We're not green yet, but so close. Um, our economy is doing alright for a change, which is... You know, which is quite nice. I mean, it's uh, refreshing. Miwat and all that. These guys, uh, well, Miwat's just my vassal, isn't they? A vassal we need to get rid of in the end. But what I really want to do is get a war with the Mughals. Oh, the Ottomans would actually join. Apparently, they trust my uh, pick giving land promise. The only problem is that they expect half of what I ever I take, so I'd rather just have them help me on favours like that. Right. Pay, pay everyone. Pay everyone. There we go. Uh, let's get to the border. At this point, I don't really care if we start suffering some attrition while we're waiting. Because at this point, this war is very important. And the quicker we uh, are able to bitch slap them, the better. They do have the Mamluks and Ma uh, Malacca as allies. So Malacca is just going to be a pain, but we should be fine. Let's get some yearly prestige that we don't need. Oh no, my prestige is actually really low for a fucking change. What the hell? What, what, what happened to my really amazing, like, amazingly high prestige? Now, we're going to do this war for Delhi, I think. I think that sounds fair. Mostly because taking their best province from them is always the smartest idea. So we'll, uh, we'll get that done. Uh, what's this? Political maximum of the empire. Sure, status. You can have a little bit more power. It doesn't affect that I'm still getting the uh, prestige recovery or not. Actually, if we became status, people would be happier. There'd be less unrest, but... What can you do? Okay, we're actually very close to the min thing now. So I'm actually going to get a couple more generals. And fill out what generals I don't have. One more general. There we go. So let's... Uh, Ottomans and I are going to go to war to take Delhi. I didn't think I'd be pulling them all the way down, back down there. But oh well. Now I don't know if there's any forts down this side. But uh, yeah there is. There's one there. Jinnapur. So we'll take that out. Ooh, any of these useful? Um, nope. Uh, we'll go for that one because eventually that might be useful. Right, you go up there, you go there. Yeah, weirdly enough, that is the right call. The one with the siege is going to the right place, that's all good. Let's go sit you together because uh, don't want them charging our infant our uh, men now. I know what these cunts are like. They'll charge. They'll charge the second they get a chance, and uh, not looking forward. Not looking to let them do that. Go sit there. And the extra cannons will uh, help us uh, siege, obviously. So the Ottomans uh, should have free reign for a while, which is. Uh, not the best because it means we have to be we're the ones being challenged by the enemy uh, military. But I mean, in the long run, it's going to be fine. There's one fort done, so we can go down here and get these this shit done. Actually, I'm gonna go smack them. We're gonna go smack those guys in the teeth because uh, well, they just they just fucking deserve it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, they deserve to be smacked in the teeth very very hard by our military. Mostly because if they if they get that, that means they get even more percentage against us that we're trying to stop. So let's uh, let's not allow this. 
thought that was Junipor that got done in as well, but no, they think they've done another siege. And that's probably Malacca done a siege somewhere down here. Because they're twarrants. Yeah, 100 and... Uh, oh, look at that. For a change, we're actually doing a good job of killing them. See, ladies and gentlemen, it can, okay, it can happen. Like, we can do well. No, so you go there. Right, you two go there. You two go there. We'll keep them together for now. It seems safer to keep them together for a while. The Mughals have their free fucking star leader because they're pricks. So we need to uh, we need to be on the watch out for that. So what we want from this war, we definitely want Delhi. Um. Hmm. Now I wouldn't complain if I got that, to be honest. The Ottomans most certainly would, but I think um. I think I'd get this, and then I'd give the Ottomans some land. Like I'd probably just take the like if we go super piece of the Ottomans. I'd probably just give the Ottomans land straight from that anyway because it's cheaper. It's well, it's, it doesn't cost me anything anyway. I'll cost them it. So you guys go get that fort. I think you have a you, you have a one siege that's uh, still good enough. We'll go knock this fort down really quickly. There we go. Push that over. Looks like, see, immediately knocked it over. How good can we do with just two armies? Oh, fuck, they got away. Those lucky cunts. Better pull away. Hey, Junipor's done, which means I can move even more armies north. You know what? I want, uh... Um, yeah... I'm going to use uh, six armies to go just uh, dismantle this uh, cunt here. Right. Hopefully we can do this nice and quickly. Because dismantling these two armies is a very important task. And, uh... While we're doing it, I don't have any spare. I have only two spare. Well, I've well one contin like one like overall spare unit. Well, two hundred ten thousand men march to get rid of uh, these assholes. They're uh, I don't know what they're trying to do, but they're uh, doing something stupid in my opinion. There we go. Sixteenth September, we're gonna catch them. I mean, you can be a great general, but once you're over, once you're overwhelmed by enough men, you're uh, you don't have a chance. You know, what? I think 70k, my 70k should be able to beat them. Let's see. Can we? They have better discipline, we have equal morale, but they obviously have a lot better other stuff, but we won. So, the answer is yes, we can. Good, we are getting that fort back. Let's, uh, let's immediately push that over, just because ease. It's better if we push it over straight away. And mum looks. You don't want to, uh, you don't want to give any of this out. I mean, we could essentially annex you, and like that's just just how we could what we could do. But uh, we'll we'll hold off for now. Once this is done, we'll uh, move up. Damn it! I was hoping that to be done that turn, but oh well. Uh, that was the siege of something that's got done. I don't know what it was, but we'll see if something was sieged. Move you up here quickly. Move you to there. Go on there. George, what are you doing? Everything goes to me. We've we've been over this. So, peace is looking uh, good at the moment. 
I mean, the Mamluks will eventually give in, but just gotta wait. Well, I would, I would like, I'd rather not lose like my fucking stability game, but I don't want to go back into debt. Okay, fine. Let's go back into debt. I obviously didn't enjoy not being in debt, so. Go. We'll just charge everyone into him. Yeah, fucking hell. He ran all the way back there. Fucking idiots. I'm gonna have him follow him. Alright, this asshole's getting the full uh, force of my, mi my military. Well, not the full force, but he's getting a good portion of my military on him. Yeah, Malaka's doing what they do best, just being a pain in the ass. Okay, the Mamelukes, I'm just going to get you out of this war because you're being a pain in the ass. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, we can wait. I can wait a little, a little bit longer for you to give that back. Alright, so once you've got... Actually, go to there so this guy can get there quicker. There we go. Alright, we're now in there, so let's move this way. Having this vassal can sometimes be a massive pain out. He needs a fucking fall there. I'm gonna move you this way as well, because uh, if you stay the other side, you just it's just effort. Apparently it went down, so you know what? We'll take that. Because you're just doing my head in at this point, and I, you, the Ottomans are for some, for some reason pushing their armies over there. We'll get rid of you. Get a national sovereignty idea. And we'll take, sorry. Give ourselves the economic tree. Still not green. Alright, so we've got... You and you, get over here. I'm going to go uh, fin out some more uh, horde army. Or oh, not horde armies, but... Enemies. Oh, fuck, he's level 3, so we need to get rid of that level 3. We had a rebellion somewhere. Don't know where, but we... Oh, down there. I don't give a fuck about them. You want to convert that to fish? You do that. Let's go get that fort. Right, let's go get this 34k. Right, it looks like we're going to pin him. We just need to uh, get everyone else there. Oh, I would love to have for I would I would have loved to have got those men there, ladies and gentlemen, but unfortunately not. Unfortunately, it wasn't. It was never going to be. Ooh, we're going to catch the big army as well. Thirtieth. 20. Oh, we are as well. It's just going to be beautiful. Malacca, would you like to leave this war? No? Well, that's fair. I'll, I'll let you off. Alright, so this is another Mughal army that's about to be destroyed. Well, I wish it was destroyed. And here are the actual rebellions. God damn it. Shut these rebellions off for a bit. Right, we need to get a little bit, just a little bit more siege, so we should be able to leave this war with. I mean, we could leave with this. No, I can't. I think that would be the best thing to leave with. Or, I mean, we could just completely go the opposite angle and go. See that? Look how much, li look how little you get in comparison. I know it's better, but just no, no, thank you. I want my. Uh, oh, fuck! I need to remember what exactly yeah, it's that. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> Looks like we'll have to wait until the next part, unfortunately, because I do need to actually end this part here. Let's jump. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys then.